Square Payments is an affordable, easy, and immediate way to accept credit card payments. It gives small business owners a ton of transaction options at transparent prices and with a full management toolkit that includes a free point of sale app. You can accept in-person, mobile, and remote payments using smartphones, Square card readers, or Square software for online payments. Hi, I'm Mary King, senior staff writer at Fit Small Business, and today I'll show you how to use Square to process different types of credit card payments. We will look at five ways to process payments with Square. The Square app for mobile payments, the Square app for in-store payments, Square online payments, Square invoices and recurring payments, and the Square virtual terminal to accept payments. You can find all of this information in written form in the guide on our website, which is linked below. Let's jump right in. Before you can process any credit card payment on Square, you need to create your Square account. This is free and it takes no time at all. You just go to the Square website, which is linked in the description below, or find Square in the App Store on your mobile device and click Get Started. Square will prompt you to add all of the relevant information, including connecting a bank account where your payments will be deposited. Setting up a Square account takes maybe a day, mostly because Square needs to verify your identity. Entering your information actually only takes a few minutes, but the verification can take up to 48 hours. Personally, I have never had to wait more than an hour or two for verification. Once your account is created, you can run cards by entering card information manually, or you can attach a card reader to accept swipe tapped or chip payments. Accepting payments via card reader is better because these payments have lower processing rates than manually entered payments, plus they're faster. Square will send you your first MagStripe reader for free, or you can buy a tap and chip reader like this one from Square for $49.99. It also comes with a MagStripe reader. The MagStripe reader just plugs into your phone or tablet's headphone jack really easy. The tap and chip reader communicates via Bluetooth, so you need to configure it in your POS app by going to settings, selecting hardware, then square card readers. Your POS app will detect the reader when you hit the reader's power button, then you're good to go. With our account and card reader set up, let's process a mobile payment. To start the sale, you open the Square app on your POS device. You can select items from your library, or if you don't have an item library, just manually enter a dollar amount. Then swipe, dip, or tap the card depending on the type of card reader you have. It's that easy. And if, if you have an iPhone 11 or later, it's actually even easier because you can use the tap to pay function and simply tap cards or smartphones directly on your phone to accept card or mobile wallet payments. And this is great for mobile businesses or occasional sellers that sell at craft fairs or provide services in clients' homes. And that's all there is to accepting mobile payments. Let's talk about accepting in-store payments. Accepting in-store payments on Square is similar to accepting mobile payments. The only difference is your hardware. You can operate any of the Square POS apps Basic Square, Square for Retail, Square for Restaurants, or Square Appointments on iPads or on Square designed hardware like the Square Terminal, the Square Stand, or the Square Mount. We're going with the iPad route today. Just like using a phone, you connect a Square card reader to your point of sale tablet, then ring up the sale, navigate to the payment screen, then tap, dip, or swipe the card. And it's that easy. Moving on to online payments. Accepting online payments is simple with Square. Of course, every Square account comes with a free Square online store. And the very first step to accepting online payments is setting up your website where your customers can make purchases. This is really easy from your Square dashboard. You wanna click on online. And that will take you to your online dashboard and then here on the second option on the left-hand side, you wanna click on website and edit site. And if you've entered your business information, like your logos and items to sell, things like that, Square will automatically generate a suggested site for you. And that's what I did with my little shop. We're just gonna go with this website. Uh, once it's set up to your liking, you can of course configure all of these things 
um, you just hit publish and then it goes live. Once your site is live, customers just go to your site and make their purchases and pay on your website. Another way to accept credit card payments through Square is with Square invoices. We have a full video on how to set up and use Square invoices that we've linked here if you want more information. Uh, Square invoices is a great way to accept remote payments from customers when you offer lots of customized services like a catering company or a handyman service. And like all Square products, the baseline Square invoices subscription is free. All you pay are Square's processing fees on your credit card transactions. So with Square invoices, all you need to do is create an invoice, then text or email it to the customer. Then customers receive the invoice and just like with online payments, they complete the payment information themselves and it goes to your bank account. You can also use Square invoices to do subscription-based payments or recurring payments. You just want to click on recurring series here and create a recurring series invoice. Um, you can also do this from the main invoices dashboard. You just hear where it says frequency. You switch from one time to recurring, and then you can adjust how often a subscription is charged. And again, it just automatically goes into your bank account. Moving on to the final payment type we're going to discuss today, which is paying via virtual terminal. So one last way to accept payments with Square is via a desktop computer using Square's virtual terminal. In addition to credit card payments, the virtual terminal allows you also to accept cash, checks, and Square gift cards. This is a great fit for office-based businesses that need a low-cost way to accept payments. You just go to your virtual terminal screen, which you can access from your main Square dashboard, and click Take a Payment. You can do a quick charge and add a single amount, or you can create an itemized sale by adding items from your library. If you want to make something detailed and track your stock, then when your check is ready, click Charge, and you can enter payment information manually here, or you can attach a square terminal wirelessly to accept tap, dip, and swiped payments. And that is five ways to accept payments with Square. If you use Square to accept payments, let us know in the comments. Tell us what you like. Tell us what you have challenges with. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy selling.